so often times regarding sanskrit and acharya commentaries uh, people have uh, this idea that they are really not needed and uh, why we are teaching this uh, all this stuff so actually maharaj i mean i wanted to hear from you uh, we are teaching sanskrit and acharya commentaries so this is very much in line with prabhupada then uh, his desire what will be important teaching from acharyas and sanskrits excellent but what is important for the nourishment of devotees within this god is there is a very sustained and focused um, connection that you verbally <coughs> make yeah. in these commentaries and shrimpas yes in other words we don't want them to go astray from prabhupada's words they should we should always present it in such a way that you know prophet is in this and you know the sanatana swami and we are on our charge and we should not talk about it or we should not swami and jiva go swami and you know they have given these Always, you know, the Prabhupada's, you know, build it on the foundation of Prabhupada, make that very visible. We're building on the foundation of Prabhupada. And not only we're building on the foundation of Prabhupada, but, you know, how Prabhupada, you know, what Prabhupada has said includes all these things. Yes. Maybe not in the details, but in the spirit of whatever all the Acharyas have said. It's we're building on the foundation of Prabhupada's purports, and it's also all included within Sri Prabhupada's purports. Absolutely. The knowledge, the spirit. And, that's this one. and um, if we explain it in that way, then we'll really be doing it the way Sri Prabhupada says to do. Because Sri Prabhupada many times told us that everything that we need to know is in his books. But he also told us that you know, study Chaitanya Bhagavad, study the Siddharvas by Jiva Goswami. <laughs> Sanatana Goswami has said in this in his Brihat Bhagavatamrita, in his, in his commentary, and he's quoting himself. So he's given us the doors open to study these commentaries of the Acharyas. But he's also said everything's in my books. This so I think how intelligently and devotionally and faithfully you harmonize those two principles that everybody there knows that everything's in Prabhupada's books as far as what we need to know in the spirit. But you know, I wanted us for those who have that capacity and that inclination you know, to understand the way I well prefer the Acharya. Yes. Because the tenets, because if we study the lives of the acharyas, every one of them was totally Trinata Bisa Nichina. Although they were great scholars, that, that's the, the basis of their lives, whether it's Sanatana Swami or Jiva Swami. But conditioned souls like us, we have a tendency when we learn things, we think ourselves better than people who don't know those things. And you know, I know things about Ras, I know these things about Sanskrit, I know these things about philosophy that others don't know, who may be surrendering their lives and be a thousand times more advanced spiritual than us, just have more intellectual, you know, data in our brains. <laughs> so I think the important thing is and we see in the lives of, you know, like Jiva Goswami and before the Rupa Goswami taught him, massaging his legs, he was, he was presented in his, just making the leaves for his guru and he was doing simple services. And Shamananda Goswami, you know, he was a student of Jiva Goswami, but he was out, you know, just Sweeping the dust of the Seva Kunj in those areas. So, you know, these devotees, it was so much um, when Rupa and Sanatana approached Lord Chaitanya, it was their humility that drew them 
message out of Baha. So unless they develop a really humble service attitude and really grateful to Srila Prabhupada and really grateful to see your Vaishnavas, then knowledge can make us proud. And the whole purpose of all this knowledge is to make us more humble and play of us. So, you know, in this way, the culture in which things are taught is crucial. So that we're actually helping people to become pure devotees by studying the Acharyas, commentaries, Rajas, teaching them how to be proud scholars. <laughs> this much. Uh, yes. And that's, that harmony is, is what Vrindavan is. This much.